The Shivelish volcano of the Kamchatka Peninsula in the Russian Federation has erupted. It started when we saw this seismic activity, which was intense. Last year we had something similar to that. And during the night we could see it from a distance. It was almost like a nuclear explosion. With a difference, it was not. It is a volcano 3,000 meters high, more than that actually, slightly, and we can see it from 100 kilometers away, almost that distance. And we can see that the whole mountain, the dome of it, explodes and shatters. This is a Mount St. Helens equivalent, but in Russia. And you can see that the explosion of it is very dramatic. It happened during the night this time, and some cameras were able to record it. This is a time lapse we are seeing this. After the explosion and during the rise of the ash, we had lightning, huge lightning strikes that you can see here. And some people actually have been talking about it here. I will let you listen. Слышишь, опять... Ой, это там был. Ничего не видно. Practically it created a false down in the depth of the night. The ash cloud rose to 15,000 meters. We had something similar to that last year, a little bit bigger. Probably the strongest in the last 60 years in that area. And it created a huge ash layer. This year, this is what reaction was of the people. And as you can see also, from a distance you could see this huge volcano shattered. It creates a felsic dome over it. Last year, the felsic dome completely shattered. It created a, a kind of caldera on top of the mountain. More similar, very similar to what we had in the Mount St. Helens. And the date, as you can see here, written through the ash in the ground. And in different places, we had thicknesses of ash up to 10 centimeter, sometimes even more. Uh, I'll play the video from the last year so we can listen to that. Imagine a volcano like Mount St. Helens uh, of the United States of America. And that erupting every year. This is Shivelich volcano. A better version of the Mount St. Helens in the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia in the North Pacific Ocean. It has a height of 3,280 meters and it has erupted again. Last year we reported the eruption. This eruption is as big as that. And you can see that the explosion is actually goes beyond higher than the tropopause, where actually the heat, you know, uh, difference gradient stops the usual uh, flow of the ash, hot ash upward. It punches a hole into the troposphere and goes beyond that. And the ash spreads to everywhere, including the areas around it that are covered with the ash at the moment. We had a video before that to show uh, you can look at that. It, it also coincided with the earthquake. But the monstrous size of this is, is astonishing. Uh, we had a similar eruption last year. This is repeated again. This is the result of the volcanic dome of last year, and yet it managed to blow it up so quick in the short period of time. In, during the eruption, we had a lot of you know, lightning. I have a video about the growth of this uh, volcanic dome just created last year. And I will show you the growth of this volcanic dome. is a felsic dome, and my prediction about this eruption next. The latest images from the Shivelech volcano shows the volcanic dome which was forming in the place of the old uh, shattered dome is now growing and shaped like an egg, as you can see here from the ground image and also from the satellites. So this is the volcano which uh, in the early of this year erupted and blew up the old dome. It was like this. It was venting and releasing gas. And when it exploded, it was a stop in the pressure. It was this. 
the pressure released and almost changed the whole <laughs> landscape. Uh, it actually uh, averted the uh, aviation from the, over the Pacific Ocean, Northern Pacific Ocean. And when we look back and what we see is a deep canyon is now carved by that, as you can see here. There's a history of the eruptions in this deep canyon. You can see a pyroclastics forming ignimbrites. At the moment, this uh, new dome is growing and a side vent also erupting, mostly fumaroles. And uh, we are waiting for any moment such a thing happen again. When the cap stops the eruption, then it explodes. The pressure builds up and explodes. The new volcanic dome will be destroyed also and creating a new huge pyroclastic and ash fall eruption. The ground truth of the fell sigdom of the Shivalash volcano was not revealed so far after its recent eruption. So we had only the aerial views and some uh, really telephoto views from far away. This is a volcano 3.2 kilometers tall. So it's quite significant. When it erupted, it created a, you know, a huge ash cloud which dispersed over the whole planet. The North Pacific region was actually disrupted the, the aviation. This is the canyon dug by this uh, eruption of the volcano. Now for the first time, we have actually a view of the Felsic Dam. You now this is here. What you saw was a Felsic Dam. As you can see, Felsic Dams are light colored and this was light colored also. This is the last top, like the crust on the uh, magma that erupts. And the size of it you can compare with the size of those people who stood on the edge of the volcano. This is a huge, huge mountain. These people were standing at the edge of the previous volcanic, uh, volcanic dome which was shattered, not the actual crater of the volcano. This is huge. It's a felsic, light-colored dome. Shivalash volcano uh, may erupt. This is the current dome of it, which is a uh, uh, nearby uh, you know, volcanic center, as you can see in this image. During the daylight, you can see the steam is rising from there. That means the water vapor is gathering and actually is in contact with the magma and eventually it may erupt. In the satellite images, you can see that the Karen actually has uh, almost the same level of the steam as the Shiveloch itself. All the Shiveloch has the, the brightness of the lava glowing. And this is the first clear images of the Karan. Uh, Karan actually is a Russian word. In Persian it means, which is very similar to Russian, it means a border. So that is in the border or margin of the Shivaloch. The actual dome of the Shivaloch is exp uh, expanding uh, every day. I have now, you know, speed it up and several times playing it so you can see. It's like a syrup oozing out as if from the ground. This is a very viscous, uh, of course, okay, uh, lava. And the signature for the sulfur dioxide is in the air, as you can see. It has spread already across the world. It may erupt. We had more uh, earthquakes. And this uh, area of the uh, Indo-Pacific Ring of Fire is very volatile. It may explode in future, probably close future.